everyone, it's Jade and Melissa, and we are back with another installment of our Constellation Zodiac series, and today we're going to be teaching you how to make a super cute Pisces bracelet. Uh, really simple, really easy, and I'm looking forward to it. If you want to click the link below, it will link you to all the materials that you'll need to make this project. Let's begin! Now that we're in our third month, we are going to switch it around as I've been kind of guiding you through things. This month, Jade's gonna take over. So we're gonna have Jade tell us what type of materials we're gonna be using today. Awesome, so the first thing we're gonna use is, as our like base material is going to be this uh, brown, uh, what's it called, cork leather? Cork, yeah, leather. cork leather. And then the clasp for this bracelet is going to be the AS Magnetic, like uh, it's like a rectangular clasp. Super easy to add on. With that, we're gonna need some super glue. And then for our, like bead embellishments here, uh, I went with some of the uh, Mayuki 15 O's in the dark sky blue Ceylon. And then we also have a couple of bicones, a couple of Potomac Crystal rounds. So the bicones, I went big with these ones. These are six millimeter in the Alexandre AB. Um, the rounds three millimeter in the uh, crystal AB, and then Melissa had a really good idea to add in this Amazonite faceted round in two millimeter. So we're going to play around with putting that on yeah. the bracelet now. So, um, for all of our Pisces friends, I'm going to do your facts uh, for you, caring, loving easygoing people. Um, those are kind of characteristics. They say that Pisces are creative people. So I'm sure that they're probably one step ahead of us in making their own designs. <laughs> However, we're gonna, we're gonna try our hand at it. Um, some famous Pisces, because they're creative people, you're gonna find all kinds of celebrities. Um, you have Shaquille O'Neal. Well, he's an athlete, but Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Uh, we have Simone Biles, another athlete. Ava Mendes. Uh, Catherine O'Hara. Uh, that's all I can Oh, think of. Smokey Robinson. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, so um, for all of you Pisces, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our cork leather to your desired size. So in the original sample that I made here, I cut this to a about five inches and with your clasp you have a little bit more wiggle room it gives you about another inch so I'll just show you like what that looks like on so for me personally this is still a little tight I could use a little wiggle room so I went a little bit bigger with this next one I went with six inches and what did you go with for yours I went ahead and went with eight um, a normal bracelet that we make here at Potomac Beads will fit about a seven and a half inch wrist with the clasp being about an inch. I went ahead and gave myself some wiggle room. Um, I figure if I do not need that much, I can just cut it off after. Yeah, really easy to just like fix up after. Yeah, I was one of those people that where I would go exact and then I realized that I make some... Little mistakes, little, <laughs> little blunders. So I, I have started giving myself a little wiggle room with my projects now so that I can adjust as needed. Nice. So then what I did from here is I went ahead and I put my um, bracelet up against the ruler again and I marked my halfway point. So in my case, that'll be about three inches and you really can't see the pen mark on here like after you add your beads. So don't like worry with like marking it up or anything. Um, what type of needle did you decide to use for this? Because... Oh, for this, yeah, with this kind of material, we use a very specific needle. Um, it is one of the, aha, there it is. Thank you, Melissa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so these are going to be the uh, tulip short needles, and I have a number 11 one here. This just gave me a little more control when poking through like this tough leather. Got it. Um, because it did give me a little bit of a fit at first, but we got some, we got some tips for you, so no worries. So when you're choosing a needle, um, make the lower the number, the thicker the needle is going to be. So if you are have a 10, you can use a 10 as well. I would imagine it to be just even thicker and, and fine. Um, a 12 might be a little bit flimsy. So uh, perfect choice. Awesome. Then after you mark your halfway point, then you are ready to start putting your beads on. All right, so now we are going to get started with putting our beads on our leather here. All right. Um, for this particular project, I used the green dragon thread in 0 
but you're you can change whatever thread you want to use or anything like that any different colors i thought the green did pretty nice kind of like blending in with all the colors that we used on this yeah definitely that's a question that we get a lot here at potomac beads as to what color thread we use a lot um rule of thumb and I thought it was crazy when I started, but green is our go-to. We use green here at Potomac Beads more than we use any other color of thread. Now, if you're using a black bead, obviously black thread's great. Um, any type of clear crystal, a clear, clear uh, mm -hmm. or a white thread or a frost thread is great, but green is our go-to, so. Yeah. So to start out, we are going to, instead of doing a constellation this time, we went ahead and did the Pisces symbol. If you haven't looked at your constellation Pisces, that thing's complex. That took takes some serious like innovation on figuring out how to actually like get a beading thing for your whole constellation because it's all zigzagging and all crazy looking, but it's really neat. But in terms of keeping things simple, we went ahead with your symbol because it's really pretty and Yay. it's adorable and we love it. So our first step is where you marked your center spot, we want to go ahead and put get your line of beads there for your middle part of your like little Pisces H. So we're just doing a straight down? I did straight across. Oh, so, straight across, okay. So where you marked, I actually turn it over to the back. Okay. Thread through the back, so that your needle comes out the front. Okay. And this, with this particular leather, it really helps if you like are able to hold some tension on that to get your needle through, or else your needle might be sliding in your hands or bending or anything like that but once you get some tension on that it's actually not as bad as it could be <laughs> all right now when i have this on the back do i need to do a stop bead or a knot or anything like that i me personally i am not super comfortable with stop beads okay. but i just did a regular traditional little knot just to hold my thread there that way it doesn't come through your project and your beads are going everywhere smart thinking um, is there amount of thread that we should use in our project? I always overdo it with my thread. Okay. So I used probably a good like 20 to 24 inches here of thread. Um, but that's like, I, I make lots of mistakes and I gotta like kind of cut thread sometimes and restart and yeah, but if you are more than welcome to use a little bit less, cause we really aren't going to be doing a ton. We don't need a ton. I just prefer a ton. Okay. All right. I can get down with that. All right. So once you are through to the top, through to the front. Okay. That's when we grab either, I'm going to use um, these seed beads, these 15 O's. I think you're going to be using some faceted round gemstones. Yes. So in my case, about let's see, five, six, six across works for me. Okay. So I'm thinking probably since you're using those and I'm using a two millimeter, probably four is going to work for these two millimeter faceted rounds. So we'll try that out here. And get our beads on there. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so now I've fed my beads on and then wait. Okay, so we're here. Yep, so let me get my beads up there. And then what we do, get your tension on your, on your bracelet, follow your midpoint line that you made over to the other edge. Just make a little straight across line. Okay. I'm just gonna lay mine down here. Yep. See how that goes. Sometimes that's a little easier too. I know I did that the first time I'd like, like pushed it into a bead on it board, but that still took a lot of like effort. I had a much easier time once I had tension on tension it. Tension on it. Okay. Good to know. All right. Oh goodness, I'm doing a wrap around here. Yeah, that happened right, folks. to me quite a bit. Okay. Thread okay. management. <laughs> yeah, I'm, man, I admire people who do like bead weaving and things like that. Mm -hmm. And like the funny part about it is like, I am not a bead weaver. I'm a wire kind of gal. And that's because we, Ali gave us classes and we stopped at wire working. So <laughs> Kenzie and I have just been a perpetual state of um, wire working, but because we deal with so many projects, her and I are the most educated non-beaters. So <laughs> if I struggle through this, guys, you'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> so then after you make your little line across, guess what? You're already like a third of the way there. Like, I like, like that. 
two more steps to finish off our H. Okay. So next we're going to be going up to our side line. So we're going this way. So as we start on the other, on the sides of our H's, I flip the bracelet upside down again because we're going to be coming back through the back, through to the front. And I like using our little like entry exit points here as like reference as to where I should go next for the like top of my H line. Okay. So let's say about a quarter inch up. I tried to keep it as close to like that edge as possible without like risking tearing what I have here. Got it. Go through. And so I guess if you have a little bit of slack there in that first strand of beads once you go up it's going to pull that that and, tight or top. yeah and honestly you don't need it super tight because you are going to be doing some kind of weaving around that okay so keeping like a little bit of um what's that slack there yeah okay would be would be best all right so let me get my so we are here and go through Lotion is not a good thing to put on your hands yeah, before doing Yeah, I lotion this. every morning. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> All right. So now we have our new line okay. up here. Now I would grab, I'm going to grab five of my seed beads here. Okay. So maybe I'll go back for four again. Yeah, and you can. we can always add takeaway we'll see kind of where these beads fall let's see well maybe if i get them on my needle we'll see where they fall. <laughs> i always struggle with that especially on like white backgrounds like light beads and white backgrounds yeah that's what makes that um bead on a board surface really nice is it's like um kind of like a velvet material so they just kind of like boop right on there for me if not Getting the strip of us. Like now. Oh my goodness, goodness. I'm gonna have to like pick these up and put them in my hand so I can see closer. I was trying. Yeah, I'm a little worried I'm gonna run into that with uh with these clear <laughs> like the clear you know, these clear rounds. Right. I'm gonna be like, oh where's the where do I go in on these? All right, four. All right, so I have four. All right, I'm back nice. in action. Okay. All right. I'm here. Beautiful. Okay. So then what I did from here, because your H kind of comes in at like a little curve. Okay. What I did is I would take my thread. I got my five beads and I kind of just set them right along like my uh, middle H line here. I went one, two beads in. So they, my thread kind of falls in between my second and third bead. Okay, so it looks like I'll probably have to go through just my around my first one there okay. since I only have the four beads there. And so that so that your project like keeps the shape and it like reinforces like this little uh little line that we have going here. I took my needle back under, like over and under okay. my middle piece with the intention of keeping my beads. Oh my goodness. I'm like wreck it rough in here. I'm just bees are flying. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Okay. I think I almost just undid what I just did. How okay. do I make sure that it's curving like that? So it my first one I had one that curved real nice and then the rest of them kind of were Got a little it. straighter. But I am always open to anyone who has a lot of experience which i'm sure if you're watching this video you got some beading experience um i'd love to hear like your thoughts and opinions on how if you got that to curve a little more how you did that and i i would personally like love to see that so with this next one we're going to come down and then do the four more and then come in from the side right after we've wrapped around there yeah, so after we've wrapped around there, yeah, we're going to come down. To Back to the edge. Yep. Now you're going to want to put some beads on there, like okay. your four beads, and then uh, thread back through to the back, and that will complete that first. Okay. Line. And then we repeat the steps on the opposite side. Correct. Okay. All right. All right. With 
our lovely modern technology studio. We went ahead and did a little bit of a fast forward. We just repeated what we did on the first side, on the second side, but this time you didn't have to watch us do it. Yeah, <laughs> I was struggling. Who wants to watch me struggle to put that in? But now you are ready to like embellish it. So for this one, I went with like some nice, like pretty sparkly colors. Okay. Um, I really geared myself towards like the the blues. I know this looks a little purple, but kind of like the lighter blues because Pisces birthdays fall in between like February and March. So like that's why I went with this color. It is March's birthstone, like that aquamarine color. Um, so that's which one. makes sense because Pisces uh, sign is, or symbols of fish, yep. and they are a water sign. So, so I know for at least like my sample here, I went with, in with the big uh, big bicones and just kind of put them alongside our little H symbol, little Pisces symbol. All right. For those of you that have decided to not use seed beads, but go with maybe a two millimeter bead, um, just because my beads were a little bit bigger, I did go back through some of my lines and re reinforce them. So you can feel free to kind of go back up through those beads once you has, have everything set um, to just kind of re reinforce them and make them into like the shape that you want. It, I found that to be really easy. Awesome. Yeah, that's the did you make yours also like uh real tight or did you leave like some slack in, in it or i left some slack until i went back through and then that's when i decided to tighten it once i had yes. the bead shape because um i didn't have as many in the middle as you did mm -hmm. so i didn't have a lot to work with there so um i gotcha. pulled them in tight that way so and so now i guess the edges you can kind of go however you want to go and just make a yeah so i i think i might try to do like i think i'm gonna do big buy cones right center next to the piece but i think i'm gonna space out my uh my clear ones a little bit more this time oh i like that idea but feel free however you want to like just customize this that's the really nice thing with like this project set is you can really customize it however you want uh so again i flip my bracelet over to the back and kind of go off my little uh embroidery lines back here that i'm okay. going and then it's like to Kind of put it in there. Yeah. I think because it. I've used gemstones, um, maybe I'll use my gemstones again and do something kind of neat. Okay. Hmm. So we're just going to get your tension, poke the needle through the back. Boop. Okay. Pull it out the front. And if you're an experienced beater, you're you probably don't need much help with this part at all. You just pick up your uh your bicone. I might use some of your your crystals Go there. Go for it. All right. So let's see what kind of creation I can make. <laughs> and uh, did you notice that with the back, like when you wore it, like the string didn't really even matter. Like it kind of sat really. Oh gosh, I'm throwing it. Is that real close to everything? Yeah, like for the most part. Now, naturally, when you take something that is flat and you uh, make it into a circle, you're going to have a little bit of slack in your string that's on the back end of this. But in, like I'll show you on the original project. Oop, magnetizing everything here. So I turned over that string. It was like real flush to everything. But then once we bend it a little bit, it kind of... Oh, got goes it. to the edge, but it doesn't go far enough out to where you can see it. So it's like as soon as you put that on, you can't see it. You can't feel it. There's no like itchiness or anything like that from any knots or, or edges. Oh, or that's edges. good to know. I guess if you didn't want it, you could almost maybe glue like a piece of felt or something onto the back of it uh, yeah. to hold it down. Or it's even like if you say you get done like completing like your little uh, Pisces symbol in the middle, mm -hmm. you can always, like any of these extra pieces, I'll thread burn down. So that okay. way they're flush as well. So, and it's like, I try to keep using my thread throughout like the whole project. So I will keep the same piece of thread and my, my back will look a whole mess here, but uh, that's just how I prefer to do it. I also wonder like if you, say you got done your symbol, cut your thread or burned it or anything mm -hmm. like that, made that like kind of tight to like the back of your project then you can always restart 
like your thread and everything with your yeah nose. definitely and then that would prevent that kind of gapping as well yeah so got my first right. bicone on here so we're just gonna kind of embellish the sides here yep embellish the first side let me see how close i can get this to the edge without without wrecking it <laughs> i don't even know what i'm doing it's a free-for-all here so we love creativity so I am so all for... do Pisces. <laughs> I'm all for your extra. All right, well, we'll see. Like I said, lotion is not a good thing to do prior, prior to doing this project. <laughs> all right. Now, another tip say if you did lotion your hands or anything like that, and you're mm -hmm. able to get your needle like through the leather, but you can't like pull it the whole way through. Yeah, I actually like to use a pair of like our wire working pliers. Ah. and just boop like help us through the rest of the way there that makes sense because sometimes at like the end because like i actually i don't think I'm, i don't know if i'm supposed to do this but i knot my thread around my needle just once like i don't like oh tie look at her going rogue <laughs> but i knotted around there just once because i don't need my thread falling out on me um it will and then it'll take me 84 years to get it back in there now we're going to use just some of our... So I think that um, I might knot on one side and mm -hmm. then go to the next side. So um, if I was going to knot, what I would do here is um, I have all these like nice little uh, loops here. You can just come back through one of those loops and then just make a simple knot to, to kind of tie it all together. So I've knotted there doesn't change the front of my project but it does secure it so you can go through as many times as you feel comfortable i always over knot stuff because i do not i'm i'm kind of rough <laughs> oh, we're kind of coming around here so i knot it again and i think i'll probably do that one more time just to secure it and then i will cut my thread and thread burn that off so I got big bicone, little round. I'm going to put one more round on there, and then I think I'm going to be done embellishing mine. Okay. So once you're done getting all your embellishments on there the way you like them, then, oh, I love yours. They're so cute. Thanks. I just kind of repeated the same pattern on either side. I love it. I tried to do the same thing, but, you know, some of my little uh, rounds are a little closer together, but... Oh, she's a perfectionist. If it's like, you know, it's like the stars. They're kind of like random. So <laughs> I'm fine with that. So then I'm going to just tie off this around the back. And actually, I like to kind of thread my, start my tie with like a stitch that's already there. So do that. And then just a basic knot just to finish it off back here. Get it all nice and secure. There we go. Pull it tight and then I just use a thread burner to help, you know, elite or eliminate like any like super stray threads here. Just be careful when using the thread burner because when I started using it, I was thread burner happy and you can go <laughs> from an amazing project to burnt thread super fast where all your beads fall mm. out. So if you're oh. going to use the thread burner, just use some caution. Yeah. That, it is yeah, that would be so sad if you're like to the end and you're oh, like, man. oh, oh. Then, man. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're here and we just have what? One more step? One more step. Okay. Just got to clasp it. And All this right. is super easy. This clasp, super cute. Like really simple and cute. I just uh, split these up. And now with this type of leather, though, mm -hmm. you will have to maybe like bend it just a little bit to get it to fit snug in there. Okay. So like just... how deep is that little cavern? it is oh that's a good question so this oh pretty oh okay yeah it it adds a good bit on there so what i did for this part is i actually took our uh super glue okay and i poured it all in here okay and then just put my leather in and held it there for just a minute okay so, so you can use the Loctite Super Glue or the Super New Glue? Correct. Okay. Yeah, I know when I did my sample, I think I used the Super New Glue because I had it at my desk. All right. So. I'll glue us in here. 
right, get all kinds of glue in there, all nice. You'll see it like kind of shiny in there. Give that a little bit of a bend. So the bend kind of helps you get it in there. Correct. Okay. Yep. And then, yes, hold it there for a minute. Maybe talk about the weather. All right. <laughs> it's kind of nice here. For now. <laughs> for now. I always love like, you see the things circulate like around online where it's like, oh, Maryland winters are, are like, oh, there's a full spring and that's like what we're in now. And then we'll get third winter and then <laughs> actual spring. Yeah, I guess it did ice less. Oh, yeah. Last week. So. so that's good to go. So then we just have to make sure we're putting our clasp on the correct way. So that way. Oh, that's a key part. Yes. So. If not, you'd be upside down, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty. It looks kind of the same, like no matter how you do it. Okay. But. Yeah, so then we just glue our next one the same exact way. Okay. Rinse and repeat. So get some good glue in there. The nice part about this particular bracelet is with like all of our projects, it's great for the zodiac, but if you just wanted to have like a free-for-all of like just making a design, um, you could really stitch any beads into this that you want. It's just a, a quick, easy, fun um do it with your teenager kind of project yeah the, we've been trying to use like some more unconventional materials um in this just mm -hmm. to kind of experiment and see what we can do with just uh things that we don't see often yeah we have such a, a humongous warehouse of such good stuff and so we are just trying to i don't know bring it to you in a different way so and there we have it and that's that that yeah. is all she wrote. All right. Yeah. Well, that was so fun. Good job. Thank you. That was Jade's first time putting <laughs> it together. I think she did a great job. So um, I guess we uh, did it. We did. Yeah. All right. Yay. So thank you so much for joining us today for our little Pisces bracelet. Um, make sure that you click below to like and subscribe. That way you can either see your constellation when it comes around or your zodiac sign um, or the many other tutorials that we put out week to week. Also, if you look below, there is a link that will link you to all the materials that we use today. We thank you so much for joining us and we can't wait to see you next month. Bye. Bye.